Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Very excited to share with you my latest acquisition. I did a trade for this watch. This is the Tudor 79540 reference, otherwise known as the Black Bay 41. Now, I'm a big fan of the Black Bay line. I think the Tudor's really just killing it. Uh, but I'm especially uh, impressed with the 41, the 36, and the new 32 millimeter size, which after owning this uh, 41, I definitely want to get a 32 for my wife sometime so we can have matching black bays. I think that would be pretty cool. So I'll start by putting some dimensions here on the screen. I'm going to talk about uh, what I enjoy about this watch throughout this video. I think it's a very solid watch and a good one to consider. You know, if you're ready to, to, to put down 1500 2000 2500 depending on which variation you go for, for your first nice luxury watch, this Black Bay 41 from Tudor uh, really offers some good value for money. So uh, I'll start off with a wrist shot here so you guys can see it on my 7.25 inch wrists. Uh, the big thing that I really enjoy about this is it wears very nicely. Now, it's a lot thinner than the Diver Black Bays. I have owned the ETA version in the past. I have reviewed the in-house GMT Black Bay uh, so I'm, I'm familiar with the thicker uh, diver and sport models. This one clocks in at 11.2 millimeters thick from case back to top of crystal. There's a few things at play here that make it a little bit thinner. Uh, the first is the dial. Instead of a domed texture dial, we have a flat gloss dial that looks fantastic. Let me uh, kind of show it next to my Rolex GMT Master II. You can see a very, very similar look. So the dial is flat, and then instead of a rotating bezel and a proud box sapphire crystal, we have a beautiful, uh, thin, polished bezel and a flat sapphire crystal. So it really takes some height down on the top end. And then the bottom end, the case back, is a little bit thinner because instead of using one of the in-house manufacturer movements from Tudor, they are using uh, an ETA 2824 that they regulate. They adjust to five positions. They tastefully finish, um, and it's a thinner movement, so you, you can actually get a thinner profile on wrist. And I love the way this looks on wrist. I love seeing the dominant slab-style oyster case uh, with the polished beveled edges. This thing is absolutely beautiful and slightly aggressive in its styling. Uh, I love the large oversized crown at the three o'clock position with the coin edging, the Tudor rose done in relief, and then your black anodized aluminum stem that ties in with the dial and kind of uh, helps that, that crown uh, be even more accessible and more aesthetically dominant. Now let's take a look at the dial on a macro level. Uh, we're having a little bit of issues with the reflectance here. Like I said, this is a gloss dial and we have a uh, sapphire crystal as well as applied markers. So there is gonna be a little bit of light play here in the videos but it's a very dynamic, very beautiful, nicely executed dial. We have silver printing as opposed, as opposed to flat white. And I like these snowflake hands. I know they're a little bit divisive. Some people don't like them, but I, I think, uh, <laughs> actually, I think they're cooler than the Mercedes style hands that, that are found on my Rolex. I love the large application of, of loom that's found here. There's a lot of surface area and it's definitely iconic to this brand, helping bring some heritage uh, from, their, from their history into a modern execution of a very solid sport watch. So this one has uh, 150 meters of water resistance and a screw down crown. So if you wanted to take this swimming, fishing, on the lake, on a boat, uh, you know, whatever, this could absolutely uh, could do that. You don't have to worry about water resistance as long as that crown is screwed in. Now, the other thing that I really enjoy about this is how versatile it is. It's a very uh, versatile watch. Now, I have it on the bracelet here, the Oyster bracelet, which is very nice from Tudor. We have a flip lock uh, clasp with um, ceramic ball bearings, something that you don't normally see outside of uh, Patek and uh, Omega. Not even Rolex utilizes that. So very nice bracelet. Um, but I also have a couple other options here. We have uh, the factory leather and then the fabric strap that comes with the watch, the uh, camo <laughs> fabric strap, which looks really cool. Tudor is kind of the king when it comes to fabric straps. It's not 
a traditional NATO because there's no uh, pass through that goes underneath. So Tudor's able to utilize a thinner uh, wear while it's on the wrist. Those, those spring bars are sewn into the fabric, which I think is really nice. And then you also have cool hardware, which if you look at the top of the buckle kind of mimics the top of the Tudor shield that uh, that's become the mainstay icon of the brand. It used to be the rose back in the day, but now it is uh, the shield. And so it's kind of interesting that you have both logos at play on this Black Bay 41. Now, let me close by, uh, by giving what I would consider a critique of the watch. I, I really like it. I think it's awesome. I think, you know, <laughs> it's got some great options as, as far as sizing, as far as straps. There's even a new blue color out that I think looks fantastic. So there's a lot of good choice. It's a solid watch for the money, but uh, I would say there's one thing that Tudor could do that would really enhance uh, the experience of using and owning one of these watches, and that is improve the luminescence. Now, this has Superluminova C1, so it's nice and potent and bright green uh, for a little bit, maybe about 15 minutes, and then that begins to fade. And after a few hours, you really have to squint to see uh, any type of luminescence in low light. So if they could maybe put a potent formula of BGW-9, similar to what they do on the Pelagos, uh, that would really take this to the next level. So that would be my suggestion to Tudor to enhance the watch. Other than that, I think it's awesome, and I've really enjoyed wearing this. Uh, I, I, again, I've, I, I like it so much. I want to get my wife one so we can have matching watches when we go out on a date night. I think that would just be really cool. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.